very warm welcome to JD Dispatch, followed by HSBC. I'm Priya Shea. Joining me on this conversation is Sandeep Budibanda from Health Flix Technologies. Thank you very much, Sandeep, for joining us today. You know, health has become the need of the hour, and we've seen so many interesting uh, models emerge with this pandemic. Tell us a little bit about the kind of growth and traction that you've seen over the last couple of months. Hi, Priya. So, yeah, thanks. Uh, my pleasure being on the show. So, um, you know, health tech always had to uh, improve uh, in India, right? We consider looking at uh, what, what what happens globally versus where India was. This always had to improve, and then it, there was an opportunity for us to go big on it. But of course, uh, post pandemic, I think things have changed um, in a ways in which, in manners in which we have not seen before. All the stakeholders are, uh, you know, quite open about doing, um, you know, going digital on healthcare, right? Whether it is doctors or patients or uh, hospitals or pharmaceutical firms, insurance firms, et cetera, et cetera, right? So all of them are looking at uh, this opportunity as, uh, you know, golden era for Indian startups and Indian healthcare itself in terms of, uh, you know, driving outcomes, right? More importantly than other, uh, any other, but to access as well, right? So the access of healthcare to patients and then once it's available, driving outcomes is where people are looking at driving uh, this year. Right. What kind of growth have you been seeing over the last couple of months and what's the roadmap for this year? So it's been fantastic for HealthFlix uh, per se. So we have, go we have grown uh, 4x in terms of number of doctors that we onboard onto the platform. Right. So that's been phenomenal. Today, I think uh, roughly around, even with all the growth that you've seen, only about 3.5% uh, of all the doctors in the country or on a digital platform and bulk of it has been driven by health clicks. So our goal is to, you know, take this to from where we are, three and a half percent, four percent to hundred percent, right? Only then we will be able to drive health outcomes. But just looking the um, you know, looking at 2021, I think uh, we've been pretty proud and happy that we have uh, scaled at 4x both in terms of doctors and revenue. So that's there. But more importantly, I think uh, one of the things that we've been able to do is uh, you know, create this ecosystem where multiple stakeholders um, can talk to HealthFlix doctors, HealthFlix patients, as if an app provider would do uh, to customers on mobile through an Android API, right? So that's one of the things that we have begun to build in the last one year. I call We call that as Android of healthcare uh, within HealthFlix. So pretty much we have done all the hard work in terms of getting doctors and patients onto the platform. Um, tomorrow, if a diagnostics firms want to uh, sell a product to a doctor, uh, med devices firm, or diagnostics firm want to do, uh, you know, lab tests for the patients, they can just do through an API through HealthFlix, right? So things can become faster, things can become more accessible. Uh, we, what we are trying to do through this is the entire loop is being closed, right? So I think the seeds are sown last year for this kind of ecosystem, not just by HealthFlix, but various stakeholders within HealthFlix itself. So that's that's very exciting. Right. Uh, tell us a little bit about the key metrics that you'll be tracking uh, going forward in terms of the kind of growth that you've seen. What would be the key metrics of uh, success according to you? See, the thing is, uh, you know, before I answer that question, Priya, like we look at why HealthFlix began, right? So we began uh, because we wanted to drive health outcomes at a population level, right? So when I say drive health outcomes is like, uh, there are various reasons why health outcomes in the country is not so great, right? It could be medical errors, it could be access, it could be information not being available at the same time. Um, it could be uh, delayed diagnosis, so on and so forth, right? So what matters to HealthFlex as a firm is driving health outcomes at a population level, right? So. There are two ways to do it. One is through the patients directly or through doctors and then through them uh, to patients. So we took the second round, right? We said doctors will be our champions. They are our ambassadors. Patients listen to them um, day in and day out. So going through doctors to drive health outcomes matters to us a lot more, right? So we actually treat doctors as uh, superheroes like uh, Batman and we call ourselves like a Robin, right? So you will see this as a consistent theme in everything that we do and hence are the metrics that we track as well. So the most important metric at HealthFlix is number of consultations that we do on a daily basis, right? Why is it important? Because it allows us to measure how deep is our uh, 
reach to the patients, right? So these and every consultation is about two minutes, roughly pay up. So what we can, what a doctor can do in those two minutes to improve health outcomes is what essentially what we can influence as well, right? So that's why it's the most important metric that we follow. And that has grown like about uh, two and a half to three X uh, year on year for us. Right. Uh, in terms of uh, revenue and funding, uh, are you looking at any more funding uh, going forward to considering the kind of uh, growth plans that you have? So it's been it's been a pretty good year in terms of uh, revenue for us. We've grown um, there as well, and we've raised money from Lightspeed last year. So we actually uh, sit on good amount of funding that we've gotten, um, and then there is revenue that is happening, and then we are also the you know the contribution margins in the various verticals that we have is pretty high, right? So we could go grow uh, responsibly, profitably for a long time. Uh, but of course, uh, having said that, we, I mean, you know, we're not we're not trying to raise uh, funds yet. But there is a lot of inbound interest, right? Given that the healthcare uh, sector has become very hot, and healthfix itself has been growing, there's inbound interest. We look to see how uh, whether we grow grow responsibly, grow profitably. Uh, that's one way. But the other one is we can be aggressive and fast. So that call is it to take. But we don't necessarily need the funds right now. Right. Um, you know, tell us a little bit about the kind of, uh, uh, you know, short to medium term plans in terms of expanding adjacencies on the platform. Will you be adding more, uh, you know, aspects in terms of adjacencies? See, I, I spoke about uh, the Android of healthcare bet, right, Priya? So it's all about adjacencies. So if you look at uh, our key customers are doctors, and through them, we reach out to patients, right? So our belief is that the, you know, the EMR adoption in the country will be very, very high only if we make it uh, very, very affordable, right? So to an extent that we believe that it should be free for doctors and patients. So when that happens, when your core customer is using the platform for free, that means your business model needs to happen. Um, it needs to be built by looking at various stakeholders. So all of these things, we believe once we get doctors and patients onto a platform, we will be able to enhance the efficiency with which these stakeholders play, whether it is pharmaceutical firms or a med devices or insurance sector, as I spoke about earlier, right? So today we are unlocking one by one. We have already disrupted the way the pharma firms um, sort of reach out to doctors, educate them on various diseases and various uh, new things that are happening. So that has been disrupted and we love the way the disruption is going there. So uh, similarly, we are trying to do for insurance this year, we are trying to do for diagnostics and med devices. So all of these people coming in the way, uh, coming in a manner in which it's a closed loop, doctor prescribes something to a patient based on what the patient is saying. And instantly that med device needs to be available for patient to buy, right? Uh, and if the patient has bought that, let's say it's wearable or a med devices, day in, day after day, as this uh, vitals are flowing into the med devices and then the app of that, it should come back to the EMR as well. And doctor should look at it real time and respond, right? Some of these things can be automated. So we are trying to build this ecosystem. I mean, you know, uh, these are adjacencies per se, but it is core to the way in which we are building the ecosystem itself. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Sandeep, for joining us today. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks so much for your time. Mm -hmm.